All right, so in this case, what we have is a sphere. And they say the area of a great circle is approximately 28.6 inches squared. So one thing I want to go over with you as far as a great circle, let's say you have this sphere, right? Oops. The great circle is going to be the circle that you guys understand. There's your center, and there's your diameter, right? Diameter is directly across um, your circle, and it would be directly across on the sphere. Well, this is going to be kind of hard to draw here. Yeah, what I'm trying to say is if you were to take a, if you have a sphere, like a ball, right? And you kind of take a sheet of paper and go and cut it right in half, that circle, um, that circle that would be cut in half is what you call like your great circle, all right? So that's going to be a, the exact, it has the exact same radius, diameter of your sphere, but it's going to be the two-dimensional, um, two-dimensional showing of your sphere. And, I, and I'm sorry, it's kind of, that's pretend like that piece of paper is cutting why, that paper in half. Why would you want to cut the paper? You're not cutting the paper. You're cutting the sphere in half. Yeah, why? If you, all right, let's think about this. You know we have a sphere, right? It's cut into half. Let's say, let's look at the Earth. That's a sphere, right? It's made into a northern and a southern hemisphere, correct? Mm -hmm. That's why we talked about hemispheres was half of a sphere. A circle cut in half is cut into two hemispheres, correct? Now, think about it if you had a big, big sword and you cut it in half, cut the earth in half, and then fold it over the northern hemisphere up, right? Then you'd look on two flat surfaces, correct? Those flat surfaces are what we call the great circle, all right? Because what that is is that flat surface is that two-dimensional circle of your sphere. So we're looking at a circle of our, um, of our sphere. So if we have a two-dimensional circle, we know that the area of that is pi r squared. So they say it's 28.6 equals pi r squared. Can we now solve for r? Yeah. Yes, because what is it we need to find the volume? To find the volume, right, what exactly are they asking? Find the surface area of each sphere or hemisphere around to the nearest tenth. Find the volume. So they're trying to find the surface area. So again, to find the surface area, which uh, is 4 pi r squared. So to find the surface area of this sphere, all we need to do is figure out r. So I can find r by using the area of the great circle. So now I divide by pi. So I have 28.6 divided by pi equals r squared. Then I'm going to take the square root of that. Okay, So r equals the square root of 28.6 divided by pi. And I write it like that because I do not want you guys approximating dividing by pi and then round it and then take the square root of it. I want you to use the whole decimal, the whole number. So I'm going to do 28.6 divided by pi. And I'm going to take the square root of that whole number. And I get 3.01. So rounding it to the tenth is going to equal 3.0. Then I can plug that 3. So now that's the radius. So here's my great circle, right? There's my great circle. When the, when the piece of paper cuts my great circle in half, so, no, 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 no. Oh, let's get over there. So when I cut this, um, go ahead in half, that's my radius of my circle. So now to figure out the rate or the surface area, Surface area equals 4 pi times 3 squared. 3 squared is 9. 9 times 4 is 36. So then I simply just do 36 times pi. And surface area equals 113.1. And this was in inches squared since we're dealing with surface area. Okay.